Now, if you're on the hunt for an affordable smartphone, then great news. Absolutely tons of the buggers have been launched lately, including this wee blighter here, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8T which packs some pretty sexy hardware for not much cash. If you've got 180 quid in your back pocket then that'll nab you the Redmi Note 8T which dishes up a quad lens rear camera as well as a 4000 milliamp battery, a sizable full HD display and the latest version of Xiaomi's MIUI software. Now I've had my personal sim stuffed inside the Note 8T for the past week now to see if it really is great value or if it's worth steering clear of and here's my full in-depth Redmi Note 8T review and for more on the latest greatest mobile tech please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications Bell. Cheers. Now while the Redmi Note 8T is quite unlikely to blow your mind to bits with any revolutionary design work, it is definitely a well-constructed handset that looks pretty damn smart for that price tag. Now this Redmi handset can be grabbed in just a trio of colours. You've got a white model, a dark grey model and this here blue version which is quite a common colour for affordable smartphones. And this blue model does a pretty decent job of hiding finger grease and other guff. And I also like that subtle gradient effect, although the edges could definitely do with being a little bit more rounded to give a more comfortable grip. Now a lot of affordable budget smartphones rock a basic plastic frame but the good news is here on the Redmi Note 8T that you've got a Gorilla Glass 5 coat in front and back and it seems to actually do the job pretty damn well. I've shoved the Note in my pocket with other phones and chucked it in a backpack with other tech and generally been a bit of a dick to it and it has emerged practically unscathed. There's just a few teeny nicks on the screen there that you'll struggle to see. Plus you also have a splash resistant exterior coating to help keep the rain from seeping into those precious innards. And here on the back of the Note 8T you'll find a proper physical fingerprint sensor though you may have to squint a little bit as it is the teeniest scanner I've ever seen. I did occasionally have to fumble a wee bit to actually find it with my fingertip but it's not too tricky as the scanner is at least sunken beneath the surface and it works perfectly once you do locate the wee blighter. Now unfortunately once you do boot your way into the Redmi Note 8T you'll notice that it's running the older version of Android Android Pie rather than the fresh new Android 10 and you do get the latest version of Xiaomi's launcher MIUI 11 slathered on top. And I've actually stuck with it for the full week as well even though I'm not the biggest fan even in this latest incarnation. For one you don't get any notification icons popping up on that status bar so you have to drag down the notifications bar to actually see if you've got any waiting messages and there's still no option to add an apps tray so all of your bits have to be sorted in of folders there on your desktops instead. But on the positive side you do at least get a decent dark mode and plenty of other good features thrown in there as well. There's still no proper gesture navigation sadly but extras like the one-handed mode definitely make your life that little bit easier. And if you do find that you're less than impressed by that lack of an apps tray and other little me UI quirks you can just quickly slap on another Android launcher of your choice. I've rounded up my personal favourites of 2020 right here on Techspets. Go check that out for some inspiration. If you're after an affordable media machine then the Redmi Note 8T definitely does the job. That 6.3 inch IPS display is as strong as any budget rivals boasting a proper full HD resolution so even though it's a big bugger those visuals stay sharp and clear. It's definitely more than up to the job for a bit of movie viewing when you're out and about. And yeah there is a wee nipple notch poking its way into your view when you go full screen on the likes of YouTube but it's suitably subtle. Colour reproduction is on the natural side while the top brightness levels are a respectable match for any sunshiny conditions. And no real worries on the audio front either you get a simple basic mono speaker setup as usual here on the Redmi Note 8T but it's suitably punchy got enough grunt to make itself heard even in a noisy environment. And when I say befriend I basically mean creep up on and scare the living shit out of. And I had absolutely no troubles connecting to Bluetooth here on the Redmi Note 8T. The streaming was absolutely fine to headphone speakers whatever you fancy and you do get a proper headphone jack. Hallelujah. Now as for the smarts well a Snapdragon 665 platform is what powers this handset. My review model of the Note 8T came with 3 gigs of RAM while the 4 gig version is also available in some markets for a little bit of extra scratch. Not bad specs for a sub £200 smartphone but unfortunately the performance here on the Redmi Note 8T definitely leaves quite a lot to be desired. Probably not helped by that heavy overlay and the mega 3 gigs of RAM. Often you'll have to hang around a few seconds after poking a button to actually see something happen and your apps are constantly closing down in the background so you'll have to reopen them. With this handset patience is definitely a necessary virtue. And while it's perfectly possible to get gaming on something like PUBG Mobile you will need to keep those graphics on the rock bottom settings and your extra expectations suitably low. It's not exactly the most responsive experience and your chances of survival ain't too hot. If you do have the chance to grab the 4 gig model instead I would definitely say go for it. The gamers are at least given a helping hand by the game turbo tool which can block notifications, clear your memory with a quick tap and stop background tasks from hogging your bandwidth when playing games like PUBG so that's nice. I also noticed some dodgy app performance when I first started reviewing the Note 8T possibly linked to cellular connectivity so for instance I'd load up Google Maps and it wouldn't actually load up the map in the background 
background, I would just show my GPS position on a blank screen, which was really helpful. Amazon Music would occasionally just stop streaming in the middle of a song, stuff like that. Uh, but thankfully, touch wood, that only happened for the first couple of days I was using the Redmi Note 8T, and for the rest of the days, it's been absolutely fine when I've been out and about. So hopefully just sort of teething issues. And another curse of that super low asking price is the meagre 32 gigs of storage space, which is at least boosted to 64 gigs if you upgrade to that better model. So you will of course run out of internal storage really quickly if you download a lot of Netflix movies to watch on the go, if you shoot a lot of 4K home movies using that quad lens camera, stuff like that. But you do at least get full micro SD memory card support, so you can slap one of those in if you're really struggling. And on a much happier note, I was super impressed by the Redmi Note 8T's battery life. That 4,000 milliamp cell definitely drains nice and slow. On the heaviest, most intensive day with the Redmi Note 8T, I used it as a sat nav for over an hour. I streamed music for several hours, watched a good bit of YouTube, used the camera quite a bit, yada, yada, yada. And I still have 30% battery life left at the end of the day. Very impressive stuff indeed. The only phones that can really beat that are the likes of the Moto G7 Power with its mighty 5,000 milliamp battery. And you also have a sexy bit of 18 watt fast charge action. So the Note 8T can suck up a day's charge in roughly half an hour. Nice. Now let's move on to that quad lens camera tech which comprises a 48 megapixel primary lens, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, a 2 megapixel macro lens and finally a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Now for a sub 200 pound mobile this camera produces some perfectly respectable results. On full auto mode you have a scene recognition tool that can tweak the settings and boost colours for certain subjects such as this lovely bit of plant life. And even with this knocked off you can expect respectable detail in your snaps. A bit of pixel bin in action helps to brighten up your shots, although I did notice that some of my pics were a little bit on the warm side, nothing too severe though. And if you're shooting a high contrast scene, the Redmi Note 8T's HDR chops do a pretty decent job. Those bright skies aren't too badly saturated at all, and you'll still capture a reasonable amount of detail. You can quickly swap to the ultra wide angle lens with a single tap, and again I can't really mourn about the results at all, especially as this feature is pretty bloody rare at this price point. There's not too much distortion, and the likes of the colour temperature are mostly unaffected. Less impressive is the macro lens which kind of works at close distance but unfortunately captures quite drab looking photos. Of the bonus camera features that night mode is definitely well worth a look. Low light shots in auto mode look distinctly fuzzy with plenty of murk and oversaturation around those lighter spots but the fast acting night mode takes a sledgehammer to these problems giving you a sharp more balanced photo that's certainly a lot more attractive all with minimal effort on your part. And as for the video side of things I definitely recommend bumping up to 4k resolution if you've got the storage space to handle it. This captures quite strong detail with warm colours again, although that's typical for most smartphones shooting at Ultra HD resolution. Audio pickup is fine from all directions, although that surround and noise and wind effects are definitely captured in full force. Again, pretty standard for a budget blower. And the stabilisation leaves a lot to be desired, so you'll want to stand as still as possible. Plus, if you want to sacrifice detail for fluidity, you can also shoot footage at Full HD resolution at 60fps with reasonable results. So that's my full review of the Redmi Note 8T from Xiaomi after a week of using it as my personal handset. As you can see, sluggish performance aside, it is a solid all-round budget blower. That sub £200 price point, there are a few rivals that can touch it for the likes of the gorgeous Full HD display, the pretty damn smart quad lens camera tech, and of course that excellent battery life as well. So have you been using the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8T as your personal handset? Definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers everyone, love you.